each of the previous three games this year against the Milwaukee Bucks. Instead, LeBron in the 20s tonight, but still on the season, averaging over 37 points a game in the four games against the Milwaukee Bucks. LeBron in the locker room right now with Fred McLeod. Well, Jeff, thanks a lot to well, LeBron. Obviously, the uh, defensive energy was there. And it could have been on the schedule or trap game, but you guys seem to refuse to let that happen. Oh, well, you know, just <clears throat> shows the growth of, you know, in our team. You know, throughout the whole season, the maturity level that we have and then the professional level that we have. I mean, we come out, we don't, I mean, we know it's been a, a long road trip for us, and these you know, are some of the games that, you know, it can trap you, but uh, we came out with a lot of energy, man. You know, I think everyone used that day off yesterday um, to try to refresh as much as possible and uh, use that energy and use the fans um, to get us over the hump today. Seems like you guys also fed off Delonte's activity. I um, mean, it was excellent. Um, tough cover for him guarding RJ, of course. Um, we did a good job of helping him, but at the same time, he did a good job of himself of just trying to um, stay in all plays. And he had probably a career high. That was career high for him tonight, um, eight steals. So, I mean, that was great. accomplished one of uh, making the playoffs tonight? Nah. Uh, that wasn't who we – I mean, that was never a goal for us. We kind of knew we was going to make the playoffs. That's how – I mean, we didn't make the playoffs. That would be a disaster for us. Uh, so, um we got one goal, and that's to win the NBA championship. Um, and the, other, the minor goal is just to, to continue to get better every day um, and, and try to improve every game and not take a step backwards. For Ben and Kevin now on Friday, is it really hard to gauge anything? No, nah, it's going to be still competitive. Um, it's a very good team, very good, very good place that we're playing in. So um, we got to be ready um, because they don't have no KG. I mean, they're not a very good team, which they really are. I mean, it helps with the depth. Uh, Steph and, and Mikey are going to do a good job for them guys. Um, and um, we see, we see with, the rest, you know, with the rest of the season how they continue to fit in, but it's, it's good for them. You and Paul have had so many great matchups, and obviously sits up for another one because he is playing really, really well again. Oh, well, he's, a, he's an all-star. I mean, you expect Paul to go out there and play well every night. I mean, he's one of those guys that you love to go against because he's a competitor, and he's one of the better guys that we have in this league. So. It's going to be a challenge for both of us. From a psychological standpoint, is going to be important to win that? No, I know we're over that psychological stuff. I mean, that was about two years ago when we used to, you know, have those psychological breakdowns of, you know, going to Detroit and losing, and, you know, just feeling like we couldn't beat them. You know, we over that. I mean, like I said, we want to get better every day. Um, we, want to, we want to win every game, but um, it, it's nothing that's going to deteriorate us for the rest of the season if we don't, if we don't pull this win out. Any 75 footers left in that building? Uh, I don't know. I got some. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff, uh, let's send it back to you. Sets up for a heck of a showdown. Friday night in the meantime, though. It certainly does, Fred. 